Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie, and I'm here to talk about a great pop band by the name of Beagle. No, this isn't the Beagles, you know, that sort of banana splits type band from the 60s. This is actually a Swedish band that came out in the 90s. Now, I usually like to start these videos off by telling you how I got into the band. That was, I believe, I just read a review in something like Q Magazine or something. And I thought, I got to check these guys out. So I ordered a copy. It was only available, I think, in Sweden and maybe the UK at the time. I ordered it, got it. And it blew my friggin' mind. Sound on Sound, the debut album by Beagle, came out in 1992. And everything that you love about pop music is on this album. If you love Jellyfish, if you love 2020, if you love Dwight Twilley, if you love ABBA, I mean, just just the glorious melodies and the harmonies and the hooks just jump right out at you. Now I got connected, I think via email or something uh, with a guitar player, Kala uh, for a while. And uh, I really tried to push this band here in the U S I tried to turn as many people onto it as possible. Cause it's such a great album. I mean, when all my friends were going crazy about bands like jellyfish, I'm going, you got to check out Beagle. It's such a great album. So full of just great songs. I mean, we're talking uh, a different song. Sunday is just just leaps out at you it's it's fantastic uh between you and me is great uh turn your head around uh, everything will work out in the end and so it goes on it's such a great collection of songs it, it's full and boisterous and it's wonderful it's straight in your face i can't really say enough good things about beagle everybody that i know that has heard beagle loves beagle now there's a couple different versions of this album available but it doesn't matter which one you get you're going to love it uh there's a version you know where uh instead of red it's green there's a version with a song called crap which is not the one that i have here uh, but i do have that one coming i could not find it it was in my collection and i just had to reorder it but beagle sound on sound came out in 1992 it is flawless wonderful pop they follow that up in 1993 with an album called within and this is actually not as boisterous as the first album, but just as wonderful. Uh, in fact, it's 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 sort of sort of stepping back from that whole almost like overload power pop glory and just presenting the songs maybe in a more simplified manner, uh, but just barely because it's still just an absolutely fabulous record. Um, Nothing counts for more is great. Uh, when I speak your name, uh, thinking about not thinking about her. It's just jam-packed full. Uh, the lead singer-songwriter, Magnus, great voice, great knack for writing great tunes, and just the arrangements are absolutely fabulous. This is something that you really need to get. If I'm going to compare it to bands, I'd say fans of Jellyfish and Danny Wilkerson would love Beagle. It's different, but it falls in that category where there's so much depth to it and warmth and just great hooks and melodies. But after Within, the band split up. Now, Magnus went off and he formed another band. Uh, in fact, he took one of the members of uh, Beagle with him. And he formed a band called Favorita. And they put out a couple singles in 94. And then because of record company politics, that sort of fell apart. Uh, Magnus later uh, uh, you know, started working behind the scenes. He played live with uh, Chris Bailey from The Saints. Uh, and uh, he actually had a band, I believe, in like the early 2000s called Metro Jets. I, do I don't have anything by Metro Jets. But that band he formed after Beagle, Favorita, that only put out two singles, well, because there was such constant interest in anything that magnus was involved with they actually issued that album on cd in like 2006 2007 or so and this is it this is like an extension of beagle it's edgier uh and it's more experimental but it's still got a bunch of great tunes on it i can change the world's a great song uh, but this CD actually has the album plus all the uh, variations like of B-sides and if the single was a different version. If you love Beagle and you haven't heard Favorita, get online right now and order it or go down to your local shop and flip through the used bins, miscellaneous F, and see if they've got a copy. Favorita, that is absolutely fabulous. Magnus actually ended up uh, being the bass player, I think, for uh, Roxette during their later years, uh, uh, right before Marie died. 
and I'm purposely avoiding saying his name because I, I, I can barely say English names properly. I'm not going to say a Swedish name. But that's it with this episode of CD Junkie. Uh, I hope you enjoyed me babbling on about Beagle and Favorita. I really appreciate you hanging out. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and to ring that bell to get notifications of future episodes. Uh, and I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Stay safe. And remember me. I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.